Alexa versus Morgo. Let the hunt begin. Maybe I'm supposed to keep those cubes just because uh, it is again the quickest way to or to we get a starliner. We're gonna look like an aggro deck coming out of the gate here, but we're nothing near an aggro deck. No reason to hit that. He could get he could get um heal totem, so I mean technically hitting that matches it up against this a little bit, but Don't you do it. Don't you dare. Alright, good. At least we got one of those guys dead. Our turn next turn's not very good. We have a uh, this thing. Oh, he's not gonna... Okay, that's fine with me. Nope, he's gonna trade. We could just wait on this because we don't have a turn 5 play either. That's interesting. Yeah, I think I will. Because um, giving this, making this a 3-3 also gives it favorable traits here. He's likely to... Oh, he overloaded, right? He can't. He can't. Four mana, seven, seven. The two one here kind of gets pooped on. When I originally built this deck, I had like explosive trap and power shots for early game. Uh, oh, we don't get hexed here. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this. I don't love that. Uh. I don't love that he has the 1-1 one, one to kill the 2-1. Although this would be a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, maybe that was better, but if we can get if we can get away with just playing that into that, then that's good too. The Knuckles acted like a taunt here. Wow. I, I'm, I was surprised when... Kind of weird there. He uh, he didn't fully commit. He didn't fully commit, guys. That's interesting. So we can do two. Yeah, I guess we'll kill that first. Ooh, I wonder what this does. This gets this scales pretty hard. Like next turn, we can make a seven. So I don't think we do it again. It's kind of good though if it hits if it hits one of these, right? Uh, we'll, we'll we'll save the uh, because we could also if Knuckles dies, we get a we can technically get a Knuckles. Although that's a turn eight play. We're just gonna do this, aren't we? Four mana seven, seven. Not bad, not bad. Oh my god. Oh, the taunt kind of wrecks me here. Right? I'm a little bit nervous about getting low, but I think we just have to. Hmm. Is this worth doing? Could be right if we knew we could hit. Brain overload. Could have also like not attacked to set this up, maybe. But I don't know, man. It might have worked, honestly. Because why would he? Why would he attack into that, right? I like totems. I love. Oh, that's got to be good. Yeah, because we get we get the charging seven sevens too. I 
thing is, I need these both to die. Kinda, right? We hit that one. Just trade that one. Might have been a better way to do that. Might have been a better way to do that, but that's what I saw in the time I wanted. <laughs> Um, if we leave the doggy up, I don't know. Rexa versus Jaina. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. Every time we see a mage, it's it's weird because we assume they're not playing burn mage anymore, but they still are with the two mana mana worm even. We have like a mech hand here. We're gonna look like we're gonna look like dirty mech hunter, but just so happened we. Uh, I don't even know if the mech hunter plays this card actually. I don't know if they should be playing two mana mana worm. Like I think the deck still is pretty good because it's just very they can win without it. It's a, obviously a much different deck with it, but oh, he's playing it. Why wouldn't he want to ping there? I'm not sure. Um this could be duplicate. Well, that was uh, annoying because his mana worms kind of uh, gave him card advantage there. But we draw some powerful what things like Play Dead or Cube. We could still be in it. We're really just one cube away from getting this done, honestly, right? Excuse me, you are on fire. That was not a good turn, guys. I don't want to play that right now. I want to play anything else, any five drop. Another turtle would have been fine, right? <laughs> Big Priest OP. Yeah, Big Priest is still a thing. We lost it earlier. There's the cube right on time, guys. Unbelievable. The good news is we have the Bowman into Cube situation with a Starliner in hand. So it looks like we're going to be able to Starliner this game almost for sure. Unless he's got Potion of Polymorph, which we actually know it isn't. It could be now. If it's Potion of Polymorph, we're really sad. Should you craft Starliner? Or craft, um... I guess you're asking about Big Priest. Should you craft Big Priest? I have no idea your situation. Aya seems like a good investment, right?
All right, so it looks like we're gonna be able to start landing. The question is, do we still die to ice block? Possibly, right? Possibly. I guess arcane missiles kind of poops on me here too. Any sort of uh, he's he might have he might be wondering why I'm playing turtle, right? He didn't play around it yet. He can still play around it. No, he's, of course he's not. What he knows? Yeah, I'm not sure what he knows, guys. Whoop. The stars align. So can he do 20 da 19 damage in two turns with 20 mana and four cards? Maybe, right? So we need fireball, fireball, ping, ice block, and then just whatever, right? That that's all he needs. Hmm. hmm. So he's got <laughs> no, not a fireball, but almost fireball. Basically better because it puts a fireball in his deck, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's good. We get armor. All right. We could also try to get life steal or something. I don't know. So can he do 14 damage with three cards? Probably not. Is there any way he could? I guess he could get fireball, blazing torch, blazing torch. He drew it? Oh no. I think we're okay here. Let the hunt begin. Maybe I keep the rock, because the rock is like good against priest technically. Um It's like the ideal cube target too, not the tiger. Snapjaw. And it's also the ideal abomination. You know, death rattle. Not the, again. Someone the tiger or the turtle is in there, kind of for um. Just an extra extra beast that has seven health because we only have three currently. If you count these, so we need, we need more than three basically. Target acquired. In my sights. Let's just get rid of that thing. I don't know if that was good or not, but like we could have not done anything. Wait, so if we magnetic this and it activate this, do we get two death rattles? We would, right? I guess we're gonna get dust breakered. It's easy to forget that card has magnetic, right? The spider bomb, because it's just so good without magnetic that you just totally forget that it has it. Does the Kaboom Bot have magnetic? No. The next turn we have the Welp versus the Cube. We might not want to Welp because we just saw a reason not to uh, play that one, right? The old... Uh, Potion. Now, if we play it, he can't actually potion, kill it unless he potions. Shadowward pains it. My pack will hunt you down. So what does this do so far? So far, it's going to get possibly this spider bomb. All right, we're getting close to being able to Starliner here. We can charge the 2-2 two, two in, charge the 7-7 seven, seven in, and then cube it next turn, and then play dead. We can also hit this, cube it, play dead. 
we don't get Starliner stuff going on though, right? Damn. That's not cool. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna blow everything up here. How are we doing this? I guess we hit this here and see if it blows it up. I mean, it's good on either one, right? That might be Reno. Nope, not Reno. Man, I'm, I kind of have to war golem here, even though it's gonna be good in a second, because like this gets back the uh, the two two. Better than War Golem. It's char it's charged Devil Sword basically, right? It has rush on it. Yeah, we gotta dodge the other potion. If we can, it's insane because we have this and this. He's in Lorne's will. Thing is, we almost don't want to do it because he almost has to deal with this board anyway. Like, so if I make a bunch of seven sevens, his answer is still like the same, probably. That is a good sign that he didn't, like, you know, psychic scream or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what he's running, right? All right, so I guess we use the buffer. Ooh, I wonder what this does. All right, we'll leave that guy in his little shell there. That way, if there's another dragon fire, we'll probably kill him. Dustbreaker also breaks it open. Chilma, oh god. Do we assume Chilma's gonna work? Um. Yeah, I overthought that a little bit there. <laughs> oh my god. Boombot Play Dead does kill a Frothing Berserker, technically. I don't love it against, like, little 1-1 one -one pirates. We got more pirates here. Like, what are the odds this is gonna, like, be alive when I play this? Maybe I shouldn't have even kept that one. I mean... We have turned our curse into our strength. Gen Warrior. Interesting. What does that mean? He's Dead Man's Hand? I guess that means Dead Man's Hand, right? So, he has no Brawl, he has no Reckless Flurry, he has the uh, Recruits, okay. He has uh, the Whirlwind card, the Warpath, which is a great one. My title? I thought I updated it, guys, hold on. Okay, you actually, I think you actually had to hit the button. Should be updated. I think we're just go turtle into turtle into this, I, I guess. Force him to, I don't know, do something to him. I figure if we just play that, it just dies to something without getting value. Damn, I didn't expect that card. All right, well we we got an answer off the top. Our turtle took a beating there. What? Oh no. Is this a bolster deck? Oh god. 
It is a bolster deck. Oh god. The well, good news is it doesn't quite kill my guy yet. He's sort of one damage away. Never mind. He has two bolsters. Okay. So we're wishing. We wishing we had Spider Bomb instead of a uh, Kaboom Bot. Obviously. So how's this gonna go? We play Boom Bot. We play Dead It. If it hits this one, we can hear power. Hits this one. We almost have to play dead again. I could just play Belcher, make him waste his time with that. Holy moly. Yeah, this guy's this guy's doing it. This guy's definitely doing it. We're wishing we had obviously the other mech. Uh, bomb here, right? Because like these are so valuable now. All right, that was really good. We're still not sure how we're dealing with this 13 health, but we're starting to. Him, the whiz banger Mark Seven. All right, another Belcher's good. The Rexer's actually pretty good though, right? Because we get rid of the the problem. I have to do this first. All right, now we can now we lose our sort of steam whittle synerg steam sniper synergy, but we get you know charging poisonous bloat bats. Ready to flee. Oh god! Oh, that seems good. <laughs> Either one of these will just take right. Oh yeah, we should have we should have did this first, huh? In my sights. Run. Yeah, we'll just take this cheap one. When in doubt, take the cheap one. I mean the rat is always pretty cool because you get a bigger rat, but like That's pretty good cleave. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? We're just gonna play two of these. Let none survive. Oh, Wind Fury? Maybe I should have taken Wind Fury. What could I have taken? For some reason, I thought this had Taunt. It doesn't have Taunt. Hit that there. That there. Excuse me. Let none survive. This does pull Rexar minions. That's a good one to pull. It won't get the battle cry. He was indeed Dead Man's hand. He just ran out of stuff, unfortunately. 
gain all the armor. Oh yeah, we we gotta be careful. We don't want to make two small minions because of these. Maybe we just do these first, huh? So we've had we've also had turtles die, so it's not like these are guaranteed to be this thing. Um, I mean, I guess we play a taunt. Do we have a taunt? No. Yeah, whatever. We almost died a blood razor, right? <laughs> blood razor to seven. Whoa. We play How Master Shaw, throw the spider bomb in. We need to throw both of them in. We have uh, 10. Alright, that should be enough if we just throw everything in. I My pack will hunt you down. Lifesteal? Oh yeah, lifesteal. I, I was just looking for a three attack. I didn't have a three. Oh, I did have a three. You're right. The uh, the dire doggy. In fact, I didn't I didn't buff the attack on either, any of them. I will fight with honor. Let the hunt begin. All right, that's a good one against Baku. Could uh, lock him out maybe. We definitely did Leyline in Standard recently with the new draw two random creature thing. All right. Not Baku? Really? It usually means Murloc combo or Murloc aggro. Some sort of Murloc deck. Mysterious Challenger we've seen yesterday. So that could be a thing, but he would normally play a secret, right? Christology, ooh, are we playing the, oh, are we playing our own deck, guys? This one doesn't have magnetic. I feel like I answer that question every day, Ruby, but the answer to the question is, you can only do so many things trying to make a new deck, so if, if you can start with a card like Star Aligner, it helps, right? I did the same thing with Hemet, I did the same thing with uh, a couple other ones. Um, when Naga Sea Giant like first came out, we did Naga Giants in every class. So he doesn't want to be Paladin anymore. What does he want to do? He wants to be a rogue. Okay. That's going to mill him unless he coins. He's coining. Coining a weapon out. All right. All things go wrong, we can Rexar. Although this is likely a cube, huh? We can play this one. Is there any reason not to play this one? Will uncover accidents. They happen, you know? 
Ooh, combos. care about this thing or do we care about three damage I don't think we care about this thing probably play around equality or tear them Starliner is definitely ready to go if equality consecrates we get three of them in fact three guys I can't do this, right? Because we have to kill this and we can't kill it. Hmm. The eternal hunt has begun. That's kind of nifty. save that but I mean we got to do it for the highlights right because if I don't do it there he might concede Out of my tear him does that save him not really because it shrinks his own guy too right those are some scary uh lifesteal cards the light all right all right we got a game This does have rush. It has magnetic, but I don't have a Mac. Did we get a free Starliner? Are you, are you joshing me? All right, so what are we doing here? Can we win? Well, yeah, maybe, right? We can probably win if we just see if this gets something good. Oh, it doesn't have rush. What am I doing? I don't have that anymore. All right, so if we hit. Oh, this has rush, though. Shit, I messed up. Hmm. Yeah, we messed up. There might have been lethal there. <laughs> there might have been lethal, but... With the uh, the Russian guys, we could play two Rush minions. Blood and plunder. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Okay, this cube is gonna. Oh, he doesn't want to kill the cube. Uh, we got, so we got 4, 8, 12, 16, 23. So, Wind Fury is one off lethal. One more time. 8, 12, 16, 23. Which tracks to follow? Build a beast? Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess there could be something. Yeah, we're roping, we're roping here, unfortunately. Um, 
Maybe I should have broken my cube. The thing is, the cube the cube helps us against clears. But if it dies with a full board, we lose value. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Alright, think the victory. I think we got it with that. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. I have links here for more content. And if you would like to see the channel grow, please click that subscribe button in the middle. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.